Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be going over another new SPAC merger with you and this one is going right back to the EV sector. This merger is going to be between Indy Semiconductor and Thunderbridge Acquisition and it currently trades under the ticker THBR. Following the merger, which by the way is valued at right around a billion dollars, it's going to be trading under INDI. Now why exactly did this company choose to go public now versus any other time that they could have IPO'd? They're considering this time to be an inflection point for the EV industry as well as the other industries that they cover. The global automotive semiconductor addressable market currently has a compound annual growth rate of around 12% projected for the next 5 years. But they not only cover this, they also cover the connected car sector, electrification, safety systems and user experience and with all of these combined we're looking at about a 19 percent average compound annual growth rate this is a great growth rate for a company to be able to take advantage of another reason that they chose to make their move now is the fact that cars are becoming increasingly expensive when it comes to the parts that they provide for them currently they provide parts that equal up to around 300 dollars per vehicle and then this jumps about three times to $900 per vehicle. And they expect in the distant future around $4,000 per vehicle for the parts that this company plans to provide for them. This company has existed since around 2011 and they got off to a slow start. But recently you can see that their growth has begun to take on an exponential pattern. Starting in around 2016, this line is starting to become a lot more vertical than horizontal. This graph shows the total unit shipments and they're approaching right around 120 million. This scalability is only going to be furthered by the fact that they're a truly global company. They have employees all over the United States. They have a design center in Scotland as well as sales support in Germany. And they even have more design and sales operation centers in both Taiwan and China. This allows them to take advantage of all the great things for a company that many different countries offer and I also think it makes them far more likely to expand and become a global brand in the future due to the fact that they're showing early on signs of wanting to become that global brand and expanding worldwide. Now I've gone over a lot about this company's units sold and their total market but what exactly does this company do? This company provides SOCs or a system on a chip or a semiconductor, whatever you want to call it, you probably think of these as being in your computer, but as we're moving towards more electrified and technology advanced cars, they're going to be putting these in cars at an increasing rate. So basically their chip is going to allow the car to use laser driving, a scene scanner, it's going to increase power management in order to use a lower amount of power for a higher amount of efficiency, and it's also going to use AI technology. This company claims that their chip will reduce power usage by around 10 times and cost by almost 20 times. Also, the amount of money that they're spending per unit is only right around $200. As I touched on a little bit earlier, this company's products expand far beyond just the electric vehicle. When it comes to the autonomous vehicle industry, they have things like vision systems or parking assist. When it comes to connectivity, they have things like wireless charging or cloud access, user experience they also work on, which is going to be that little system in the front of your car with things like CarPlay, as well as electrification where they don't currently have any products, but they plan to get into it in the future. These are four of the highest growing industries and four of the hottest stock industries that there are in the business, and this company combines them all together to create a true powerhouse of a company and a stock that I think is set to explode. Another reason, and one of the most concrete reasons why I think this stock is set to explode, is the fact that they have a backlog of orders approaching $2.5 billion. These are from a variety of companies, and this amount has just continued to grow over the last couple years, and it's one of the main reasons that they're IPOing. They believe that through the money raised through the IPO, they're going to be able to finally complete a lot of these orders, and so we'll see a huge jump in their revenue very soon. 
The revenue currently sits at quite a low amount at just $23 million. But once again, this is largely due to a lack of cash that they have. But through this IPO, they're going to be able to raise that cash and finally be able to fill those orders that you just saw, which will lead to around a $500 million projected revenue in just the next five years, which means an 85% compound annual growth rate, which is far above the average for most companies. The only reason why their revenue is currently so low is due to that lack of cash. So once they get that problem solved, we'll start to see these numbers pop up on earnings reports and people will love this stock. This graph shows that same graph that you just saw, except for it splits up the revenue into what they've already shipped, what they've already confirmed, and the money that they have the potential to make based off of new products in development. You can see that almost 70% of the revenue in the next three years is based on that strategic backlog. So a ton of their revenue is already locked up. So for the next three years at least, they don't really need to worry about trying to gain new contracts. And hopefully by the end of those three years, they will have proved themselves as a company and these bars will be even larger than the company projects. This company is also coming in at a great discount, and one of my favorite comparisons would be to a company like Luminar or Velodyne LiDAR, sorry if I pronounced those wrong, but they're coming in at a 9 times earnings and around a 3.5, versus this company is coming in at right around 2. So if you're looking for a discount when it comes to earnings versus price, this is going to be the company for you. This is going to be even more of a difference when it comes to the earnings before taxes and some other things. They're coming in at right around a 6 ratio, while these other companies are coming in at 20 and around 16. So once again, if you're looking for that discount where the price actually reflects the revenue and the earnings, then this is going to be the company. I hope you did go on to enjoy today's video. I really believe in this company and I think they're combining a lot of different industries into one. And hopefully through the cash that they're earning through this IPO, they can really get the company off and running and prove themselves as a leader in those industries. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this one. Also, feel free to leave any comments about this stock or any other ones. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one.